UMass Student Farm is a year-long program that exposes students to all aspects of running a small, diversified, organic vegetable farm. My name is Amanda Brown. I'm a lecturer of sustainable food and farming in the Stockbridge School of Agriculture. I am also the co-founder and director of the UMass Student Farm and the Agricultural Learning Center. The Student Farm began in 2007 with two students who were interested in getting some hands-on experience in agricultural production. Here we are in our 17th season and we are managing about 21 acres of land with 10 in production each season with sales going to UMass Dining, a community supported agriculture program, the farmer's market, and four big Y stores in the local campus community. So in a relatively short period of time, the program has really grown, but the heart of it is really about giving students the experience that they need to become the next generation of farmers and you know be able to be part of the food system with a really deep understanding of what it actually takes to produce a large amount of food for a certain population. My name's Jason Dragon and I'm the farm manager of the UMass Student Farm. I guess I wear a lot of hats, but I would primarily say that my job is to make sure that the students who are enrolled in the program are set up for success in implementing the plan that they make, growing the food that they said they were going to grow, and that we're on track to basically meet the markets that we said we would deliver to. Morning harvest planning actually begins way back in February. And so the way our curriculum works is we start with our market needs first, and then we work our way backwards to figure out what we're actually gonna put in the ground to meet the harvest needs of the fall. Our planning process that we do in the spring semester gets us close to a plan as we can possibly get, knowing that things are gonna change as the season progresses over time. And so all summer long, we're implementing that plan that we make during the spring semester for 47 different crops. It's a very streamlined operation in the fall. Uh, students are here for their 11 hours through course and practicum. And we basically have a dialed in harvest list and a dialed in schedule where people roll in, the sun hasn't risen, we hit the ground running, we're doing the harvest, we're trying to get it back here in time for class time so that the rest of the class falls in, does a big wash, then we're packing things up, and then it goes into a cooler and then the first thing the next morning, it goes into a loading van and we drive it to the four different dining halls. In terms of a farm to table type market, I mean, this is pretty much as local as you can get. We're farming right here on campus at the Agricultural Learning Center and also at the South Deerfield Farm, which is eight miles from campus. And so everything that we harvest for UMass Dining goes directly to the dining hall that day. And so things are harvested between 7 and 9 a.m. and delivered by 10 a.m. And so we hope that that product then gets to our students through the UMass Dining later that morning or even, you know, that day for lunch. So I think it's a pretty good example of farm to table within a very short period of time. I think there's a number of reasons why farm to table, that concept is a universal term for us to all understand short distances that food can travel to be on your plate, right? And so when we are talking about educating students or educating the campus community or the larger community in general about the importance of supporting local healthy food systems, Using the terminology farm to table gives people a really good visual of a short journey for that produce. So, you know, has a very small carbon footprint to get where it needs to go. It's supporting local economies, which is huge. And it's giving people access to really healthy, fresh produce. My definition and my concern for sustainability has definitely changed. I think it's important to find the land that you take care of better than how you found it. 
small local scale farming agriculture is a great way to take care of your land and soil. But for me, sustainability continues to grow and mean other things like the sustainability of the people doing the work, of the farmers doing the work, of the different business relationships you make and are they being sustainable. It just, I feel the longer that you do this, the more that you see that sustainability should be permeating all these different facets of the work we do. But I suppose it starts with land stewardship. If I could just drop a nugget of knowledge into everybody's brains, it would be the idea of what it takes to produce food and the labor and effort and resiliency it takes to do it. I think that if people understood truly the human and land cost, uh, the effort it takes to grow food, I think that people would probably learn to be more intentional and thoughtful about their food choices. And I think more intentional practices and more thoughtfulness in general is probably good for most people. I think at the heart of it, it's really teaching consumers that their buying power matters and that the decisions that they make influence change on a larger level. And food systems, eating, is a very tangible way to make a difference in your community by supporting local farmers, eating at establishments that support local farmers, going to farmers markets, you know, those changes that you can make in your day-to-day -day sort of buying and eating habits or patterns can influence sustainability at a larger scale. UMass is really lucky to have this program and it is lucky to have this agricultural learning center facility for anybody to walk through, access, take a look at what is happening out here, to be involved through a CSA or eat our food at the dining hall. We have a lot of people that are knowledgeable and passionate about the work that they're doing and I guess I would just invite the community to walk on down and experience it. It's beautiful out here.